He was trifling. Then you're gonna put him in a bag. Why would you do that? I'm scared. You should be. You next. <laughs> I think I saved right before this point. So if I tell him everything, um, it's a bad end. So, and this is a demo save. So let's see if it still freaking loads. Okay, it loads. I'm telling him what's bothering me. All right. I think if I just don't tell him about transmigrating, it'll be fine. Oh, so you don't tell him everything. Okay. I open, I open my mouth. Are you sure? <gasps> what the hell? This hasn't happened before. This is making me nervous. Are you sure? No. I already decided. There's no point in changing my mind now. Why is the game trying to mess with me like this? It's obviously a trick. To tell the truth, I am worried about something. He perks up in my words, attentive with concern written on his face. Oh, I got sneeze. <coughs> oh, gosh. Oh, bless me. Oh, I relate to him the events of the past few days and my true feelings towards Leon and Vincent. It's difficult to begin since I'm so nervous as to what he will say. Will he even believe me? Will he actually be on my side? But I find that once I start talking, it becomes easier. It's not even a matter of whether he believes me or not. It's just good to not bottle up everything anymore. The fear, the anxiety, the panic. It feels good to let it out into the open rather than to have it swirling inside. And so I have two dates for Valentine's Day. I can't be in two places at once. I see. I look over at him. What does he think? Does he believe me? Vincent is one thing, but he also has known Leon for years. Will he believe Leon is as unhinged as I say he is? To my surprise, he gives me a level stare, a pensive look on his face, before his eyebrows furrow down into a look of disappointment. He doesn't believe me. I should say something, say it's a joke that it's an early April Fool's prank before he... You've been dealing with this all alone for so long? I wish you told me sooner. Huh? You, you believe me? Uh... Before you lying? <laughs> no, no, of course not. <laughs> then of course I believe you. But this is quite the problem. Aww. Yeah, honestly, if it was just one of them, I can still deal with it. Dodging one Yandere's violent tendencies would be a cakewalk compared to balancing two. In that case, who are you more afraid of? Huh? Huh? Go on a date with the guy you're less afraid of. I'll take care of the other one. Oh. Take care of? <laughs> yeah, you're always looking out for me, so this is this time I'll help you out. I look at his tiny stature with a frown. Huh? What can you do? Mm, I'll think of something. At least, at the least, I can help you tell them off if you're too scared to do it yourself. Thanks. I'll be sure to talk with them myself another time, too. Uh, Are you sure? Yeah, what kind of older brother will I be if I let my younger brother do all the heavy lifting? <laughs> <laughs> I can definitely lift more than you, though. What? No way. So, who is it you're, mo you're more scared of? I have to actually answer? Wait. I don't know who I'm more scared of. Honestly, probably Vincent because he'll kidnap me. While Leon is scary, like... I don't know. I was, at least a bad end anyway, so I'm gonna just click Vincent. Vincent's definitely the scarier one. Dude tried to poison me and probably the one who sent those kidnappers after me. Vincent. Vincent terrifies me. He just shows up one day saying he wants to be my friend and next thing I know he's trying to poison me or kidnap me. We should probably go to the police about those things, but we don't have any proof. For anyone else, they might take our word with some interest in investigating, but Vincent's family is... They probably get those sort of threats regularly from being public figures. It's alright, I'll think of something. Oh. At the 
very least, I'll tell him to back off. It's something I want to confirm anyways. <laughs> Have fun on your date with Leon tomorrow. You deserve it. What did I do to deserve a brother like you? I pull him into a hug, which he unsuccessfully tries to dodge. Hey! Stop it, stop it. But seriously, thank you. I feel like I have a huge weight off my shoulders now. It's not a big deal at all. You're welcome. Sundari. What did you say? <laughs> Nothing. Good night. <laughs> this helped me relax a bit. It ain't gonna help you relax the next day. Or in two days, I guess. Valentine's Day. Alright, let's do this. Ready to go? All I can muster out is a nod. <laughs> Try to relax and have fun, alright? I mean, we've known him all our lives. You'll be fine. I suppose so. I'm pretty sure as long as I'm nice to Leon, he won't hurt me. Alright, I'll see you later. Bye. And thanks, little bro. Oh, okay, this is kind of different. So we don't go through the whole... Okay, I'll read all of this in. Whoa, check it out. Is that a shark? It's huge. <laughs> Looks like it. Do you like sharks? I think they're pretty awesome. Oh, do you have a favorite, Leon? Uh, see, now I gotta go back and see, I guess, what the date with Vince is gonna be like. See? Whatever. <laughs> I never really thought about it. Oh, I like... Sim Simon... What? Wait, they're not fish, just aquatic creatures. Well, that's fine. I hope we'll get to see some of those too. No, I doubt any aquarium would have something like that. Huh? huh? Oh, there's a shark coming this way. Ah! Where? Oh, wow, that's so awesome. We spent hours walking through all the rooms and seeing various fish within tanks. Finally, we decided to visit the gift shop before leaving. Is something wrong, Leon? No, nothing. Is there anything you want? Well, every time I'm here, I'm tempted to buy every stuff toy I see. They're always so adorable. Oh. Sorry, I probably can't afford that. Huh? What? Of course, I don't expect you to buy all of it for me. But, first of all, I wouldn't know where to put all of it. There's only so much room in that house. And second, I don't need more things. More than one thing to remember today. Oh. You want to remember today? Well, yeah, I had fun. I pick out a killer whale plushie. Can I get this one? Okay. Sure, but I thought you liked sharks. I like them, but I like orcas more. Huh? Oh, do you want anything? I'll get you something too. Is there a plush of those? Uh. No, I don't think so. I guess I can buy a fish and make my own. Bro, what? Make his own? I, um, actually, would it be alright if we take a picture as a souvenir? Like, the one they took of us when we answered? Can we take one in, together in front of the tanks, actually? Huh? That doesn't cost anything, though. <laughs> That's fine, I'm actually really happy you came on a date with me today. The truth is, I've been waiting for years to... Come on, let's go take that picture. He walks off ahead of me. What the hell, man? We're already on the date and you still too embarrassed to tell the protagonist how you, much you like him? Aww. Forget the killer well. Your gap moe is too cute. <laughs> we pose for a selfie in front of a, the largest tank in the aquarium, miraculously avoiding any other people in the shot. Wow, we caught a picture of all the sharks behind us. Hmm. Yeah, it's like they're, they were all drawn to you. I have no idea why, but that's so cool. Um, uh, <laughs> that's a bad omen. Can you sip the coffee to me too? Leon's glaring at the tank. I tried to follow his line of sight, but I couldn't find anything there. <laughs> Too bad for you, you're on that side of the glass. Excuse me? What, is Vincent just sitting there watching or whatever? No. 
What the fuck? Oh no. Thanks for taking me out tonight. I had fun. <laughs> yeah, I did too. Thanks for agreeing to come with me. Um, would you uh, want to go on a second date with me sometime? Oh, what the heck am I? What are these choices? Um, of course. Yeah, I'd love to. Really? Yup, I have fun tonight, and I've always liked spending time with you. Okay. Oh, okay, great. Hmm? Well, his face red enough to be- Are you trying to kiss me? <laughs> With his face red enough to be visible in the dark, he leans towards me, presses his- Oh, his lips softly against my cheek. <laughs> I'll see you on Monday. Uh, yes, of course. Like always. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Even after he leaves, I'm still standing on the porch trying to unscramble my fried brain. Freaking Gap Moe. Dere can be so powerful. Ugh, <sighs> God. <laughs> oh, the music, I'm scared. He finna be sitting here waiting in my house. He gonna be waiting in my house. Da -da 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 -da. Waited at my house Trying to kill me Because I rejected him And sent My brother To talk that <laughs> I'm back huh? I'm greeted by a silent house He's not back he only went to talk to talk with Vincent. It shouldn't have taken very long. Ugh, that's so dangerous. I should have sent him to Leon. I mean, even though Leon kills him too, I guess, but still. I thought both of them, like... Okay, I'll just see how this plays out. Hmm. How nervous feeling starts gnawing at my stomach. No way. Vincent never hurt my brother in the game. I remember that much. You know what this music means, though. Can you hear this music too, MC? Because that means usually danger <laughs> incoming of some sort. Everything should be fine. He probably just went to see some friends afterwards. Huh? Oh. Huh? I wasn't even thinking. I'm scared. Should I go into his room? I'm not finna go into in there. I'm scared. I'm scared. Uh, no. I shake my head. What do I have to gain from going into his room? I'm going to take a rest. I start towards my room when the doorbell suddenly rings. That must be my brother. Why would he ring the doorbell? Are you dumb? I open the door to an empty street. Huh? Huh? More than a little creepy, I step back to close the door when I see a, a bag on the floor of the porch. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't, don't do this to me. Do not. It's his head, isn't it? The patches of red leak out from various parts of the bag. Metallic scent fills the air. No. <sighs> uh, what? No way, this can't be what I think it is. I'm still glaring at the bag when a pair of shoes enters my field of vision and walks up on the porch. Oh, run, I should get out of here. But my feet are glued to the ground, my eyes stuck on the blooming red spots. Even when the cold still presses against the bottom of my chin, I'm frozen in place. Whoa, what? You gonna shoot me? Or are you slicing me up? He said still, that's not like a gun. My whole head is tilted up and Vincent smiles pleasantly at me. Pleasantly? Hmm. Hey, honey. You were late for our date. I came to find you. No! 
What... What did you do? Where's my brother? <laughs> what do you think? He nudges a bag with his toes and I flinch. No! No. No, how could you? How could I? <laughs> what do you mean, how could I? Even with everything I do for you, you couldn't even talk to me yourself. You just sent your brother to, brother to talk to me. I... I'm so... So, <laughs> sorry, you should be. You're just like the rest of them. You act all nice and friendly in front of me, but the truth is you hate me like everyone else. He swipes the knife back as he burrows his face in, my, in his hands. I feel a trickle of blood run down my throat as I stumble backwards. <laughs> I guess I should thank your brother since he told me the truth about you. How you never actually like me that I should never show my face around you again. Hmm. Isn't that horrible? So you... <laughs> Why don't you find out? He nudges the bag again and points the knife towards me. I swallow a pick at, at the zipper. The metal stings on my skin. I don't want to unzip it. I don't want to see what I already know. Ah! <laughs> uh. Even though I was, was prepared for it, I can't help screaming and jumping back. Still, my eyes are glued to the bag of flesh and blood in front of me. I slide backwards on the floor, trying to get away from it all to pretend it isn't happening. <laughs> he jabs the bag with his foot, and the topmost pieces tumble out. An arm, a foot, a head? Oh, so you cut him up. A head with red hair and a cap still attached rolls over towards me. Eyes still glassy and neck still oozing fresh blood. Ah! No. <sighs> I, I need to get out of here. I can run to the other side of the house and climb over a window or something. I scramble backwards, my limbs flying everywhere as I struggle to stand or crawl or anything away from him. Huh? Uh, huh? <gasps> my back hits something and I feel the press of cold metal on the top of my head. <laughs> Where are you going? What? When did these people get into my house? Staying around us in a semicircle are three bull blue shadows, each with a gun in their hands. <laughs> what, what do you want, Vincent? <laughs> Oh, now you care about what I want. Only when you're being threatened. Uh, uh. He pisses me off so bad. Why is everyone like this? You're a maniac! You were supposed to be different. That's what I wanted. I can still... Still what? What can you do after this? Another kick to the bag of... How are you disrespecting my brother's dead body? I'm glad he killed you in that other timeline. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> the timeline I didn't play, but he did kill you in a timeline, okay? Oh my gosh, to the bag of body parts and the blood kill... Blood spills, reflecting the lights from outside as it spreads across the floor. I'm cutting my losses. I don't need you or anyone else. He waves his hand and... Ah! One of the blue shadows fires his gun and pain explodes my left leg. Whoa! <laughs> Actually, there is something you can do for me. Huh? What? Just sit back and listen to a bit of how I feel, okay? You already told me how you feel and I really don't care. He raises his knife and a seeking cold feeling fills my stomach. The dread is enough for me to ignore the pain in my leg. No. 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 No way. He's not the type to kill this way. It, it sure looks like he is. He, he's not. He's not, but <laughs> in these last few minutes, make sure to only think of me.
The first stab comes suddenly, and I don't recover before the second one comes. Then the third, fourth, I've lost count. Mm. Stay the way you're supposed to be. Okay. I wasn't expecting Vincent to stab me up, but I mean, he did stab his freaking family. Crazy white man activities. I'm sorry. <laughs> I did emphasize crazy white man, okay. But, uh, anyway. Oh, okay. I'm scared of Leon. It's definitely Leon. Leon. He's terrifying. He feels like he's gonna snap at any moment. But that isn't... Actually, he's been acting stranger than usual. I chalked it up to how he typically is, but... Is it no longer working? Alright, go on your date with Vincent tomorrow. I'll go talk with Leon. D thank you, little bro. Thank you so much. I mean, you say you don't dislike him, right? <laughs> yeah, right, I don't. I'm pretty sure if it's just a date with Vincent, he won't hurt me. Alright, I'll see you later. Bye. And thanks, little bro. <laughs> hey, it's not ice skating if you're only going to cling to the wall the whole time. I, I'm not clinging to the wall. The reeling isn't much better. That might be worse, actually. I haven't gone ice skating in over half a decade. And I'm pretty sure the game physics are making this extra difficult for me to make me a klutz for content. I don't remember having this much difficulty balancing on skates. Here, give me your hand. Stop looking like a damn prince. Hesitantly, I am keeping my other hand still on the railing. I reach out, hit, reach out to hold his hand. Okay. Now, let go of the railing. I loosen my grip and immediately I feel the skates slip under my feet. I cling back onto the railing. Hmm. Come on, you have to take a step forward. Otherwise, you'll be stuck in the same place forever. I take a breath and, re and I release the handrail fully. My feet gliding forward from the sudden force that asserted. Ah! ah! I'm going too fast. Oof. Don't worry, I got you. I collapse on his chest, but he's stable enough to not even falter. Instead, he holds on to me and glides elegantly backwards across the ice. Damn it, how is he so good at this? Hmm. Just hold on to me, okay? Leave everything to me. Hmm. All right. Thanks for taking me out tonight. I had fun. Hmm. Not at all. For our next date, I'll make sure you have even more fun. Huh? Next date? He takes a step close. Stay. Uh, he takes a step to close the distance between us again. I can have another date, right? Of course. Of course you can. Of course. Yeah, of course. I think I like spending time with you. Don't kill me. Today does show that he can be not yandere. If he can't be like this all the time, then hmm. go to therapy. Then I'll message you once I've got a few things taken care of. Oh? I got lots to do to top tonight. Well, then I'll certainly look forward. I certainly look forward to it. He smirks at me, then leans down. His lips are soft against my cheek and his breath tickles my ears. He pulls away. Good night. I'll see you on Monday. 
Can, can I? <laughs> Even after he leaves, I'm still standing on the porch trying to unscramble my fried brain. So this is how all those teenage girls from the 80s coming to age movies feel. Oh, God. <laughs> the danger music is back. Leon has probably bashed my brother's brains because I sent him to do the rage acting for me instead of telling him how I feel because he was gonna bash my brains into a pulp too <laughs> I wasn't ready for that <laughs> I'm going to buy a silent house huh he's not back he only wants to, wants to talk with me blah my nervous feeling gnaws in my stomach no no way Leon I never hurt my brother in the game I remember that much everything should be fine I am gonna check his room this time huh? I'm scared though. Go into his room. I haven't had a reason to go in there the whole time I've been living with him. Hmm. But I really don't know much about my younger brother. I, and I can't ask lest I raise suspicion. Perhaps this is a chance. Wow. Okay. What am I gonna find in here? A medium size. Oh, was this just an opportunity for me to see his room? Wait a minute. A bag is dropped at my feet the moment I open the door. You was trifling. You've known us since we was kids, Leon. Since we were kids. Huh? And you gonna kill my little bro like that? My eyes are glued to the red stain sleeking out of the camera. And then you gonna put him in a bag. Why would you do that? Leaking out of the canvas material. I'm scared. You should be. You next. <laughs> I'm scared to look up. Hey, I was waiting for you, but you never showed up for a date. Look, Leon. I feel the press of something cold against my neck and see glints. See a glint of reflected moonlight. Breathe. Breathe, control your breath. Don't move. Mm. Instead, the only person who came to find me was your younger brother. I shut my eyes and forced myself not to whimper. Run. Should I try to run away? If I move, he might cut my neck. You know what he said? <laughs> well, of course you don't, because nothing he said could have actually been true, right? No. Leon, what? What did you do? The bloodstains are blooming across the cloth. There are so many everywhere all over the bag oh i got you a gift do you want to open it i shake my head the tears stink in the back of my eyes i squeeze them shut in an attempt to prevent them from overflowing <laughs> yeah you're always looking out for me so this time i'll help you out all he did was try to help me <laughs> what are you waiting for Open it. I feel the pressure he applies against the neck. And I nod, crouching down with shaking heads to find the zippers. Ah! Even though I was prepared for it, I can't help but scream and jump back. The edge of Leon's knife nipping my, nicking my neck just deep enough to draw blood. But I barely notice my brain is solely preoccupied with the, solely preoccupied with the bag of flesh and blood in front of me. Ah! I slide backwards on the floor, trying to get away from it all, to pretend it isn't happening. What's wrong? He nudges the bag and the topmost pieces tumble out. An arm, a foot, a head. Okay, that part's the same. Oh, oh right. What he said to me. Even though we've known each other for so long. He said we should stop spending time together. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I told him that I needed to be with you no matter what. That you promised. <laughs> but he insisted. 
saying that he'll call the police for harassment or even fight me to get me to stay away. Oh, we did fight. No! No, no, no. This is all my fault. I never should have let him go see Leo alone. Hmm. He's gotten better, but... Leon, stop. What do you want from me? What I want. What I want. Anger flashes across his eyes and the first stab comes faster than I expected. Ah! Whoa! What is that? Oh, okay, that's a knife. Do I look like that? The pain as he withdraws his knife from my shoulder is enough to make my vision disappear. Only to be brought back as I feel each serrated point cut across my flesh. <laughs> I wanted to go on a date with you. The second and third thrust comes all too fast. Hmm. I wanted you to stay away from Vincent. I wanted you to pick me. Why didn't you choose me? No! St stop. I've been with you all this time, yet you still choose someone else. <laughs> you didn't even talk to me yourself. You asked your brother to come. The world is swimming around me. I can't focus. I can't properly hear or read what he's saying. How many times has this knife gone through me? Why didn't you come talk to me yourself? Do I scare you that much? Oh. After all these years, you never liked me once, did you? It's red. It's all red. Someone's screaming for help. I keep trying to grab the knife. Someone's begging. Everything hurts. I can't see. I can't hear. <laughs> what I want can't happen. So I can't let you have what you want either. Alright, I don't, what is this last picture I'm missing? Because I, I don't think I got it. It might be the other CG of the brother crying. I think that's what it is. I think I technically got all of them. Okay, so that's it. Uh, <laughs> I hope this was fun. Well, was it fun? Is, is stuff like this fun to watch? I don't know. It's entertaining. So I hope it was entertaining for you. Whatever it was for you, I hope it was positive. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.